we're live on Facebook, so talk to folks. So Good morning. Basic instructions. Where are you on planet Earth? Sign in. And good morning. Oh, I'm sorry. Tell them what we go, got yes. going on this weekend. What do we got going on this weekend? Well, we have the Beyond the Band-Aid class, which kicks off tomorrow morning at 09. And what does that mean? Well, that means that our grad program members are invading the Gulf Coast as we speak. And there's the ox box. I've already turned it on. It's ready. And I'm going to hit brew. Boom. So, now we're brewing. All right. So, show of hands, who likes my Pipe Hitters Union hat better this way? And who likes it better this way? Okay, you all like it better this way? Fantastic. We're going to keep it like this. What is Beyond the Band-Aid? What is Beyond the Band-Aid? Beyond the Band-Aid Why would the grad program members want to come here to us? Traumatic medicine class. They can get a free, I mean not a free, but a, a, an ad-free episode of Student Gun Radio every Friday. Why would they want to come here? That's right. I don't know. Just for fun to, to see your smiling face. Is that why? So what, do you, what, do you, what is Beyond the Band-Aid? Beyond the Band-Aid is a traumatic medicine class for fighting first aid. What does that mean? I don't know what that is. You don't know what it is. Go to studentofthegun.com. No, don't go to studentofthegun.com. Hey, you know what? Remember when we talked about discipline? And I said discipline is doing what you need to do, not what you want to do. What I really want to do right now is I wanted to be having breakfast at the Beau Rivage with my wife. But instead, I'm here doing a live broadcast for you hippies because I promised that I would do it. Hence, the difference between doing what you want to do and what needs to be done. And so she's just going to have to keep loving me anyway. How are we doing over here? Oh, congratulations to Ryan Hepfer, our very first winner of a free Oxbox coffee maker. And don't forget, we have two more of them to give away to you guys just because we love you. And... The people at Oxbox are cool, and they're like, hey, we like what you do, and we'd like to give coffee makers to your fans. So that would be a great idea. Why don't we go ahead and do that? So uh, how do you get one, you might ask? Well, all you have to do is give us a thumbs up on this video and tag two people that you know that need to receive this message in the uh, comments. And below. by thumbs up, he means share. Thumbs up, share. Let people know. How we doing over there, sweetheart? Well, we changed, we converted the studio over into a classroom for the Beyond the Band-Aid class, which means that somebody moved Jared's cheese. His cheese has been moved, and now he's strip. bunched up. Do you need a power strip, sweetheart? Yeah, where is it? I don't know. We don't say I don't know. I'm just a talent. Shut up. <laughs> It's not my job to know. I hate those words. I hate those words. Oh, we don't hate. Because hate leads to what? Leads to the dark side. And that's bad. Ooh, is my coffee done? All right. You guys can blame the shipping ogre. And good morning uh, to Ryan and Melissa, if you are watching. And if you're not, if you slept in this morning, I, I can totally understand that. We had... Uh, not adult beverages last night. We didn't have any adult beverages, did oh, we, Oh, you're right. We didn't. That's messed up. Yeah, we didn't have any adult beverages. We had we had water, then we had coffee, and we had cigars, and we enjoyed much conversation with our friends Ryan and Melissa because they were the very first members of the grad program to show up here on the uh, Gulf Coast. All right. Are we ready? It looks like we're bright now. Mmm. I'm ready for my close-up, Mr. DeVille. Wow, that's insanely bright. That white background. Is it too bright? Maybe. Yeah, there you go. All right. We ready? One more thing. One more thing. Turn the One more last time. Periscope's going. Is on. everybody on Facebook? Are you all like digging it? Five by five. Flip you over. If you're not, I don't know what to tell you. All right. Let's talk about rebuilding bridges. Now, if you're an adult human being, 
you'll probably admit to yourself that at some point in time, at some point in your life, you have burned bridges with other people or other organizations or what have you. Or maybe they burned bridges with you. But at some point in time, you lost your relationship. Your relationship with another person, another group of people fell away. And we refer to that as burning bridges. Okay. Sometimes you burn bridges and they're, that's it. I burn the bridge. I'm done with them. I'm never going to talk to them again. I'm never going to associate with them again. I am finished. Now, as an adult, as a mature adult human being, occasionally we age, we mature, and we consider why was that bridge burned? Did the bur bridge get burned because of something that I did, because of a decision that I made, or did it get burned because of an action or a decision someone else made? Now, the hardest thing in the world to do is to rebuild a bridge that you didn't burn. You're like, I didn't burn that bridge. Why should I go through all the trouble to rebuild it? Them sons of bitches burned it. They should rebuild it. Well, if you're going to mature, if you're going to mature in life, if you're going to mature in business, every once in a while you have to consider those situations. And you should consider the situations. Think of one situation right now in your life. You don't have to tell me. Just think of one situation where there has been a bridge burned between you and another person or you and another organization or what have you. And ask yourself the reason. Why did that happen? And as time has gone by, maybe months have gone by, maybe even years have gone by, and what really had you bunged up and angry and disappointed and so forth two or three or four years ago, you consider it now and you're like, is it really worth having that bridge burned, that chasm? Or should I begin the process of rebuilding that bridge? That's very difficult because egos and personalities are involved, especially if you uh, can honestly say that you are the aggrieved party, that you were the victim. And I hate using that term, but let's say the aggrieved party. You were doing your thing, someone else did you wrong, and you're like, I'm done with you. Burn the bridge, we're out of here. Now you may say, honestly, Paul, I don't really care what you're saying and I'm never going to rebuild the bridge to that person, that individual, that organization, what have you. Okay, great. But I bet you, as you're listening to my words right now, that there may be a relationship that you wish you still had. Things broke down, didn't go well. You burned the bridge, you moved on. But you look back and you say, you know, there were good times that was a valuable valuable excuse me valuable relationship easy for you to say it's easy for me to say this is my first coffee so shut up amber jacobs says tough coffee maker wonder how good the coffee turns out good good excellent so consider a situation consider one situation in your life where a bridge has been burned and go back and now that time has gone by think about it is it time to rebuild that bridge, yes or no? And if it is, today might be the day that you take that first step. Now, do we build bridges in one day with one phone conversation, one text, one email? Probably not, right? How do you build a bridge? One piece at a time. And today might be that day that you lay the first piece. All right, that's it, rebuilding bridges. Student of the Gun Morning Mindset. I hope you appreciate it, I hope you enjoy it, I hope you share it with other people. We have a big, big weekend. Lots of students of the gun grad program members are coming in. We're going to do a Beyond the Band-Aid class, teach people how to save their own lives, how to save the lives of people that they love, because not every problem can be solved with a gun, believe it or not. All right, kid, what's our homework assignment? Tag two people in the comments. If you're on a mobile device, you're going to have to back out of the video, tag two people, and then open it back up. And then after you tag those two people in the comments, share this video, and that's that's it. No, did you know? If you're, are you watching us on Facebook? You're watching us on Periscope? Did you know that Student of the Gun had a television show? <gasps> what? Did you know Student of the Gun has a radio show? <gasps> what? How do I find all this marvelous material that costs me nothing? Go to studentofthegun.com, and it will lead you there. Jared, I know that they're kind of excited. You had a phone call 
with the Apple TV yeah. developer yesterday. Yep. What is the status on the Apple TV app for Student of the Gun? The status is there's one change that needs to be made. When that's made, it will be submitted to Apple, and um, I think we're shooting for a June 1st release. All right, all you Apple TV addicts out there, very, very soon you'll be able to watch Student of the Gun. But if you don't have Apple TV, Roku, Amazon Fire, so forth. Yeah. All right. And if you want to know when it releases, then go to studentofthegun.com, like he said. Um, click on the orange button and make sure that you put your email and your name in, and I'll let you know when it does release. And don't just automatically delete the emails because it might be telling you that you want a KSG shotgun. Yeah. Or an Oxbox coffee maker. Who knows? Have a good weekend.